Welcome to another Noble Review session for students of AP Microeconomics. In this video, we're going to go over some of the basics of game theory. Game theory is an important topic that comes up in the discussion of oligopoly behavior, or more specifically for this course, duopoly behavior. One of your goals is to determine a firm's dominant strategy. That's a firm's best strategy regardless of what the opposing firm plays. This will help you find the Nash equilibrium in the game theory matrix. When reading a game theory matrix, the firm that's on the left, in this case Totally Inc., will have their payouts on the left side of each cell. The firm that's on the top, Awesome LLC, has its payouts on the right side of each cell. In the diagram, Totally Inc.'s dominant strategy is strategy A, and here's why. If Totally Inc. plays strategy A, the payouts are 2305 or 2350. You want to compare to their that to the payouts in strategy B. Now, 2272 is less than 2305. So strategy A looks like a better option so far. 2325 is less than 2350. So that means regardless of what Awesome LLC decides to do, Totally Inc. is best off playing strategy A. That's their dominant strategy. Awesome LLC has a similar situation. Their dominant strategy is also to play strategy A. If they play strategy A, their payouts are 2305 or 2350. 2305 is greater than 2272 if they played strategy B. And 2350 is better than 2325 if they played strategy B. So Awesome LLC should definitely play strategy A regardless of what Totally Inc. decides to do. When both firms play their dominant strategies, strategy A for Totally Inc., strategy A for Awesome LLC, we end up in the cell that is known as the Nash Equilibrium. So we know Totally Inc. will end up with $2,305, and we know that Awesome LLC will also end up with $2,305. A prisoner's dilemma can occur when each firm's respective payouts are greater if each firm does not play its dominant strategy. So in this case, if both firms play strategy B, each firm ends up with $2,325. That's greater for each firm if they were to play their dominant strategies of strategy A and end up in this Nash equilibrium where they only get $2,305. However, how can each firm trust one another to play strategy B? Now here's the dilemma. If one firm is to cheat and play strategy A while the other firm plays strategy B, the firm that cheats will end up with more profit. The firm that's played strategy B is going to suffer and lose profit. So that works going from here to here or here to here. There's an incentive to cheat for a greater payout. That's the prisoner's dilemma. Well that wraps up this Noble Review session on the basics of game theory and oligopoly behavior. Now make sure you can identify a firm's dominant strategy if it's available, if it's in your matrix, and make sure you can find the Nash equilibrium within the game theory matrix. And also take into consideration the possibilities of collusion. Now collusion is illegal, however, sometimes firms get away with colluding and acting as somewhat of a cartel to increase their payouts. Thanks for watching and good luck.